everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how I made these reusable face pads. As well as this little drawstring pouch that is great for storing them in as well as washing them. For mine I'm using this space themed polycotton fabric as well as this soft bamboo cotton toweling. So to start off, I'm measuring out mine a is rectangle. Mine is 15 and a half my template. wide and 19 centimeters long. Um, it's up to you how big you want to make these. This is for a smaller pouch that holds seven, but I also like to make a larger pouch, which is 21 by 24 centimeters to hold 14 pads instead. my templates. Um, you can see I have two markings at the top on either side. The first line is two centimeters down and the next one is one and a half centimeters down from that. Um, and this is going to be the gap to feed the ribbon through to make it a drawstring. And I've also cut out this little square which is seven and a half centimeters by seven and a half centimeters. That's for the actual pads. And now I'm just cutting these out, so for my pouches I want two pieces of each and then for the actual face pads, for the small pouch I'm going to cut out seven squares and 14 for the larger pouch. I find the easiest way to do this is to use the poly cotton squares that were already cut out and I'm just going to lay them out onto the fabric and then just use my rotary cutter to just easily cut through them all. So first of all on the pieces I'm just marking where the channel will be so I know to not sew across that. And I'm just going to clip those two pieces together, right sides together. And when I sew this together, I'm going to make sure that I don't sew across the gap between those two lines. Um, you don't need to cut the thread or anything. And I'm also just going to prepare the pads, so I'm putting the right sides together of the poly cotton squares with the toweling squares. Starting with the pouch, I'm just going to use a regular straight stitch to stitch this together. I'm using a seam allowance of half an inch. So I'm just skipping over that gap there but the top two centimetres and then after the second line is all sewn as normal. Together, I'm now taking some pinking shears and just trimming the edges off to prevent any fraying. You could also use an overlocker but I would overlock before you stitch those two pieces together because otherwise it won't leave the gap that you need for the channel. 
and I'm just doing the same on this side, leaving that gap. So now I've just turned it right side out and I'm going to fold my channel in place. So first of all I'm opening up that seam there, so it's flat, you can, you can press it if you want um, and you can see where that gap is, so I'm just folding it over at the top of the gap and then folding the edge under so that there's no raw edge sewing and then I'm just going to clip that in place and I'm going to do that right around the edge and then stitch that in place. ribbon that I'm using. It's 7mm wide uh, and this just happens to be black. Um, so to figure out how much you need you're going to want to take a piece that's about double the width of the bag and then add on like 10 centimeters. So for my small bag I'm taking a 40 centimeter piece of ribbon and need two of those. For the bigger bags I do 50 centimeters. And now what I'm going to do is take a safety pin and just get that in the end of the ribbon so that I can feed it through the channel. So I'm just going to put that right in there and move it so that it goes completely around this channel and out the same hole. Usually double knot it just to be secure and then repeat that for the other side so that you have two pieces of ribbon knotted on either side of the bag. What I then like to do is use some clear nail varnish just over the knot to kind of secure it in place and also stop the edge from fraying. sure that my pieces are right sides together and then I'm just going to sew in a square around the edge there and I'm leaving a little gap of about an inch across to turn it back through afterwards.
So now I'm just quickly turning it back through so it's right sides out and then I'm making sure that edge there is folded in and then I'm just going to top stitch all the way around the pad. And that's it, so this is the completed pouch. See that it opens really easily and I've got these seven little pads inside there. The fabric used is really soft, it's really nice for your skin and it's really nice that you can use whatever fabric you want for these, any design you want. And then here is my larger pouch as well just so you can see the size difference. But of course you can make these any size that you want. And here are some others that I've made, some nice strawberry ones, as well as these bee ones. These are all available on my Etsy as well. So please let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching.